Hello you lovely lot. Now this is day two of Vlogmas. Um, this episode of Vlogmas is not going to be the best because my camera is broken. Let me just show you. This is her, this is she. She is broken. Um, I'm currently filming on my other camera which is my DSLR. My EOS 1300D. It's really an ancient DSLR camera. Has no viewfinder so I can't see myself right now. Has no autofocus either so yeah today's vlog is going to be a bit of a higgledy piggledy one. It's also like half five in the evening right now so I obviously couldn't really film today because my fucking camera has broken. So it's either buy a new one, which I'm kind of leaning towards because my other one is literally like four years old anyways. It's kind of wrong because I've just bought a new MacBook as well. So it's like, ah, it's like both of my electronics that I need for YouTube have broken like within the same week. So I'm thinking buying a new camera and then getting this one fixed and selling it because it kind of, the focus on that one kind of was going anyways. But I'm going to take it to the camera shop tomorrow and see if like how much it's going to cost to get fixed um, and how long it'll take. Because if it takes like more than like two weeks, I kind of, can't really afford to not have a camera for that long because I need to film my assignment for uni and everything like yeah there's so many factors but yeah I'm on the DSLR I don't know if I'm in focus I'm so sorry if I'm not but like I can't really be bothered to like basically I've got a mirror literally behind my camera right now to see if I'm in focus and I'm probably not but uh. so yeah let me update you on my day another eye update for you guys um so i spent another four hours at the eye hospital this morning i basically had a follow-up appointment from my a and e basically if you watch my other vlog watch my tiktok if you haven't heard about it but basically i've had a problem with my eye had a follow-up appointment this morning at 8 45 a.m i have been up since 8 45 i went to bed at 3 a.m i've had literally had like five hours sleep um anyways basically i was at a and e well slash a hospital for four hours this morning it was kind of helpful though because they told me that i basically need an mri which is kind of interesting never had one of them before basically because my left i don't know why i'm telling you this i just i don't know my left pupil um doesn't react the same as my right um so apparently that's something to do with your brain and your optic nerve so i need an mri so that's interesting but yeah here i am just got back from the cinema now i want to talk about this we went to the cinema to see after sun which is you guys all know how much i love normal people so it was the actor that plays connell in after sun i thought it was gonna be a love story i hadn't seen the trailer i quite liked going to the cinema without seeing the trailer i might do that more often um because usually i've like seen the trailer or like seen stuff about it so i know what it's about but i had no idea they're going into it blind and i actually right it wasn't as good as I thought because I've heard like really good reviews about it. I feel like it was like one of those films where you take it however you want. Basically it was about a, f a father and a daughter and they were on holiday and it had like a lot of deep meaning like you'd have to watch it to kind of understand the gist of it but I think it was like emotional. I feel like if you were a parent you'd really connect with it or if you were, had depression you'd like relate a bit more than I can because obviously I'm not a parent and um luckily I don't have depression so like do you know what I mean I feel like you resonate with it depending on your situation but I can still appreciate that it was like an emotional film I was just expecting a bit more let me know if any of you have seen it DM me on Instagram so we can chat about it because I'm kind of left underwhelmed because I thought it was going to have some big like meaning at the end like I was the whole way watching it I was like yeah I can't wait to this for this all to tie in together and get the true meaning and it kind of didn't give me that but yeah no it was a beautiful film like the cinematography like beautiful like it's the type of things that I want to edit when I'm older like so so stunning like the entire film just a bit of a letdown because maybe I don't understand it maybe you need kids to understand it I don't fucking know but I've seen like TikToks being like oh I cried for days after this and I'm just like how oh guys my advent calendar came you know how i was saying that my mum hadn't like bought me an advent calendar well she did but it was just like two it came two days late because of the royal mail strikes but look oh it's a lindor one so i got one of these and then i also got just a normal lint ball so good i think it's now oh wait what it's six o'clock i literally thought it was like five o'clock um it's friday night i don't know if i've got any plans um Probably not. Sorry I'm starting this vlog so late. It's just because I couldn't really film because of my camera. But I'm going to try and get that sorted for you guys. My room's a little bit messy. I might do a bit more depopping. I've got a coffee on my bedside table that I haven't drank. So I might go and heat that up. But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner. I'm not really that hungry. I might have dinner in like an hour or so. Yeah, I feel like I've just chatted so much. I feel like like everyone at uni is kind of getting to the end of their tether with like going out and stuff. Like I feel like everyone's just a bit like not sick of going out, just tired. Like I literally, the thought of going out tonight, I'm just like... Oh, but I think I'm going out tomorrow night, so that'll be fun. Whether or not I have a vlog camera to actually vlog it, who fucking knows. But yeah, um, I'm in my cute little scarf. My outfit's actually so cute. I also wore my... Sorry, I'm literally word vomiting right now. I am um, literally wore my glasses for the first time in the cinema. Pretty crazy experience. Kind of annoying. I think my glasses are too 
big for me because I've got quite a pea head, like I've got quite a small head and I keep, I found throughout the film I kept having to like push them back up so I don't know if that's because they're too big or like, I don't know. These are my glasses by the way guys. So slay. Yeah, I'm going to show you my outfit because it's actually kind of cute. I feel like I'm filming a short film when I'm using this camera. First of all, I have my Adidas Superstars on. Then if you move up the body i've got socks on i've got my nike acg skirt on maybe it's better if i show you in the mirror nike acg skirt shirt is from brandy melville i feel like this is kind of old school this camera like okay slay <gasps> i feel like a private school girl that's what i'm that's what it's giving right now then we have yeah then we have the cute little button up which i don't really like on its own but with the leather jacket and the scarf it's it's giving and then i've got my lovely leather jacket on so yeah that is me that is that is her that is she Oh, oh, but yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do now, but I've just been rambling for like ever, so I'm gonna shut the fuck up now. I also haven't drank any water today. Okay, so I've just had my dinner. I had pepperoni pizza again. I literally said in my vlog the other day how my eating's going really healthy and nice, but it's literally not. Since this vlogmas day has been a bit of a fail, I know we're on day two and I'm already failing, but I thought I thought I would do a little Q&A, just like a fun one, no like specific like theme. But I just asked you guys over on my Instagram to ask me some questions because I feel like I still obviously want to upload a video, but I couldn't really vlog today because A, I didn't have a camera, B, I was at the cinema, and C, I was at the doctor's for four hours. So yeah, you guys give me a few questions to work with. So yeah, let's just get started and then I'll probably just end it there because I think tonight I'm just gonna watch a film with my flatmate. So someone said how's life with glasses? I don't wanna be one of those girls that like constantly talks about their glasses because like that's so boring, but like it's not too bad. Like I only really need them for like the cinema, watching TV. Um speaking of which, I don't actually know where my glasses are. I should probably use them for like going on my phone, but like nah. Someone said fave uni meal. Ooh, I'd have to say like pesto pasta with garlic bread. Or just like a standard oven pizza. I fucking love oven pizza. Sausage and mash has been a big contender this year. Someone said, will you start your podcast back up? I feel like a lot of people ask me this because a lot of people do really like my podcast because I feel like as an influencer in general, I'm quite like stripped back. Like I just kind of chat shit. And I think a lot of my viewers like that because we're the same age. I guess I guess you could say I'm relatable. Um, but like I love doing a podcast and like the only reason I haven't been doing it is because I just... I don't know, I've just been, like, I tried to film one, like, the other week, and I, like, kind of forgot how to speak, and, like, because my emotions are kind of all over the place, because I'm at uni and stuff, I just, like, I don't know, I just feel like I wouldn't say the right things, and I, I just want to wait a little bit before I start doing podcasts again, not that it's really that deep. Also, I don't know if this is, like, mean, but I'm going to say it anyway, I feel like everyone does podcasts nowadays, and not to be, like, pick me and be like, ooh, I had a podcast first, but, like, for example, Saving Grace brilliant podcast olivia neal's podcast brilliant emma chamberlain brilliant she's like the og obviously kate elizabeth's podcast not too sure on that one i was listening to it today and i was kind of just like mm, what am i listening to oh this one's interesting underrated thing that you do that others should do as well maybe like being a youtuber i don't know i feel like being a youtuber has always been such a huge part of my life i started youtube when i was like 10 11 years old and even before that i was making vlogs like just on my ipad i can't imagine not having a camera to speak to it sounds so fucking cringe if something happens in my life i tell the camera like or i tell tiktok or i tell my podcast like i just it's like having a constant like therapy it's like free therapy it's literally like it's like you guys are like part of me like you know like i don't speak to the camera as if people are first time viewers if you are a first time viewer like catch up i'm joking you guys are like my friends and you know everything about me and you're like a community and the love you have for me is so apparent and i your comments make me smile so much like your instagram dms and i just can't imagine not having that support like i can't imagine not having that community if something happens in my life I update you guys and you you talk to me about it i just i just can't imagine not having that i don't know i don't know if like obviously so many people don't have that platform but to have it i'm so lucky and that's why it kind of makes me sad when i like don't upload because it's not because i don't love you guys because you guys are literally everything but i sometimes forget how much i love doing this i'm literally gonna be doing this till the day i die like i can't imagine a time where i'm not speaking to a camera i love fucking love you guys like, i just want to give you all a hug someone said worst thing about getting older that is like a scary question i say like worrying about like bills and like taxes and shit like that i don't even know what any of that is like how you even do any of that i know a lot of people look back at I'm like being a child and being like, oh, I wish I was a child again. Not in a depression way, but like, I don't really wish that. I don't know, I feel like, I do miss being a child, but like, not really. I don't know, it's just, like, when people say, oh, I really wish I was in like year six, I'm just like, I really don't. And I look back on like year seven, year eight, year nine, I'm just like, ew, like, I hated that part of like, growing up. I just think like, that's such an awkward stage, like being like 13, 14, like, I do not 
want to be that age like I would not want to be that age now growing up is something that I don't worry about and I don't think negatively about definitely because there's just so much to live on like so much can happen like imagine like knowing that in the future that like, you might have a baby you might have a boyfriend a husband like you might have a great house a great job like I don't know like just the pos but the possibility is endless like obviously not everyone is in a fortunate situation to be excited for the future but personally <laughs> Not in like an ignorant way, but like personally I am really excited for the future. I might end it there to be fair guys. I hope you enjoyed this little, well actually I say I hope you enjoyed. Like I don't know if anyone could enjoy what you've just witnessed because it was not interesting or fun or crispy or anything. But yeah, hopefully I can get my camera sorted out um, within the next few days so I don't have to film on this big block of cheese that I'm filming on right now. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did give it a big thumbs up. I love you all so, so much and I'll see you later. Bye.